Hi, I'm Corey Sorrento. I'm the Global Product Manager for Ransberg's Mix, Meter, and Flow product line. We're going to go over some basic setup and operation of the IntelliFlow RM2 Electronic 2K Proportion. Alright, so once our connections are made, we're going to want to plug the unit in and power it on. Make sure the unit's plugged in on the right-hand side of the cabinet using the provided power cord and turn the disconnect clockwise to turn the HMI. All right, once we're powered up, if you do power up and you notice a red stack line on the top of the cabinet, it could be because your emergency stop is activated. And if so, in order to disengage, go ahead and turn that emergency stop clockwise to the right. Hit your main page and navigate to the alarms, which is on the top right hand part of the screen. In the alarms, you're able to select that alarm for the emergency stop and reset your stack lights will turn white, and you're ready to go. Once we're powered up, you'll notice on the top right part of the cabinet, if the stack light is white, we're ready to log in. To log in, press the button on the main page, navigate to the top left portion of the screen where it says user. Then you want to hit switch user. All RM2s ship with an admin password of admin, as well as a username of admin. So we'll go ahead and enter admin and sign in. Once signed in on the top left portion, you'll notice a blue circle with an A, which indicates that you're logged in under admin. And from there, you can add or delete users or change permissions based on your requirements. Once logged in as admin, you're going to want to navigate to the top left portion of the screen where we have a menu. And under menu, go to settings. From there, we can set up the system configuration. So hit system configuration. We're going to go ahead and configure our system based on the fluid panel of the RM2. Now this RM2 is a seven color, single catalyst, low pressure RM2 with a positive displacement pump. And so from that, we'll go ahead and configure the system accordingly. In system type, select RM2-1, that indicates low pressure. Cylinder volume, we have a 300cc positive displacement pump on the B side, so we'll select 300cc cylinder volume. And we have seven configured colors, so we'll select seven. The resin flow meter is a gear flow meter, so we'll select an AB gear flow meter. And the solvent flow meter, we don't have set up on this machine. Gun flush boxes, if you do have a gun flush box, this is the time to select the accessories that you've uh, configured with your machine. Gun flush boxes, you can select one or two. If you have a two gun manifold, you can also select that option as well. And you can also select whether or not you want to enable the second gun by checking the two gun enable function. Lastly, if you have a catalyst flow sensor or a remote color change box, you can check those as well as accessories in your system setup. Remember, all RM2s will ship pre-configured, so you typically will not have to change the configurations unless you're adding or taking away accessories. All right, once our system's configured and the settings are defined, we can go ahead and set up a recipe. So on the top left-hand portion of the screen, go to Menu. Under Menu, go to Recipe. And from here, we can select a color to set the recipe. In this case, we'll select color one. Under color one, we have the option of running this in 1K mode or 2K. Here, I'll select 2K, and I can choose my ratio. Ratio choice, I can choose either A to B, A to 1, or a percentage of B. Once the ratio is set, I can choose my pot life in total minutes along with a pot life warning, which is total minutes elapsed prior to the pot life warning. Lastly, in the flush sequence, we can choose whether or not we want air first or solvent first, the first flush time, along with the air solvent chop times, and the total flush time. Once that's complete, we're ready to go ahead and prime the unit and load a color. All right, once we've got a recipe set up, we can go ahead